Um, yes. So I, I, I don't have any questions, but I have some comments I want to share. First, um, I want to thank everyone who wrote into the board. Um, I've responded to a lot of those emails. Um, I want to acknowledge the comments that came in, and I would disagree that I don't think they're politically motivated. And I do think we must acknowledge the anger and the feelings that the public have. We cannot just simply pick and choose what we want to hear and any attempt to silence public comment is unconscionable to me. So I'll say this. Police and the killings of black lives at the hands of law enforcement has been an epidemic throughout the history of law enforcement. This is not just one political moment. And for those who spoke up, who wrote in, just know that I hear you. To ignore those comments or call people liars is to be willfully ignorant. So I have a couple things to say regarding police and then I'll get to the, which go into my comments around the budget. First, I acknowledge the wealth of reforms that Bar Police has undergone, especially due to the tireless efforts of black community leaders and families who have been affected by Bar Police violence. But that's because we as an agency and our Bar Police Department listened and took on those reforms, whether it was creating the Office of Independent Police Auditor, whether it was establishing our citizen review board, reviewing training practices, and currently engaging in GARE. There are national calls for reform, um, and I, as like, am, as I'm reading all these different calls for police reform, I'm actually learning how BART PD has implemented so many reforms that people are calling for. And yet, with that said, we are still hearing so many comments around defunding and around how some of our riders do not feel safe around BART PD. So as I said, to ignore those comments is willfully ignorant. Second, I'm very disturbed by the number of people who emailed me and claimed that I was going to propose budget changes today regarding BART police. Whoever started that rumor, you are wrong. So specifically to this budget, I am where I was since the majority, and the same way the majority of the board members were, I continue to support the staff proposal, which we once called option B, that is the majority opinion of this board. And I am with that majority and strongly supporting the staff proposal, which I find prudent. It allows us to scale up our service when ridership returns and has 190 million in cost cutting measures already while ensuring our amazing, amazing frontline employees can be secure in their job. I look forward to voting yes on this budget on June 25th because I care about BART and I care about running our transit service and it has been my number one priority and will always be. So I will end by saying I have a lot more work to do. Um, I have to really listen to the needs of our community and I am wholly committed to listening and act upon, acting upon the demands of the communities BART serves. Um, we'll be back quarterly and I look forward to seeing how this budget evolves throughout the year. So thank you.